campione d'Italia e qui la spezza la mazza la palla è corta per l'esterno destro Rosenbaum e Vaglio and then gets ripped down the left field line by Colabello. Valio on his way to third. Colabello into second with a one-out double that puts Italy on the threshold of taking a first-inning lead. 3-2 pitch. Inside, and it's a leadoff walk. 26 years of age with an RBI to his credit so far in Parma. Bounces one right side. They'll go to get the lead runner at second. A nice play from Valio to Cecchini. A 22-year-old first baseman. Nice pitch from Lugo there, no doubt about it. Now 1-2. There's the big bender, and it's called strike three. Luis Lugo with back-to-back -back punch outs. Another Massachusetts native. And Andrioli driving one out to left center field, and that's going to get down for a hit and take a hop up into the wall. Rounding second, Andrioli's on his way to third. The relay throws not in time. It's not the case for the Olympics, and this being an Olympic qualifying event. What a job there by Kramer. He swings through Kramer's one, two. 2-2, grounded, over the first base bag, that's a fair ball. Rosenbaum slams on the brakes after rounding first. Again, that's touched on in the article as Penprace goes down swinging. Better known for its academics and its athletics. He hits this one on the ground to second and it could be two. There's the out at second and the relay to first is in time. An incident-free third inning as a bounder to short starts the action and a nice play made from Ty Kelly to Ben Wanger. 3-1 pitch here is going to miss up and in. For a one-strike offering, swings, hits it up the middle, gets through Kramer. But a 4-6 flip. Got Mitch Glasser to ground into an inning-ending double play and he makes quick work of Blake Galen here. Another 3-2 pitch, this one misses high, and Lugo loses Valencia after missing with that close 2-2 pitch. This one's driven out to left field. This is way back. This is up, and it is gone. Nick Rickles with his second homer of the tournament, and Israel leads 2-0. Let the cries of Yella begin. Swings and misses. Second walk issued by Kramer. Three and nothing in danger of walking the tying run aboard. He does just that. One, two, cut on and miss, strike three. And that's nine strikeouts for the left-hander. Now it's three and one coming. And Valencia rolls it softly up the first baseline. It'll be picked up by Colabello, who blocks the first base bag. And the two ex-major leaguers share a smile. Valencia wasn't out of work very long. He was claimed by the Oakland A's two days later. And now it's a leadoff walk. A wave and a miss, and that's strike three. Runner goes. The pitch in the dirt bounces away, but that won't be far enough away from Nick Rickles to allow John Andrioli to get past second. Weiss sets. And he misses with ball four. All Ivy Leaguer his senior year at Columbia in 2016. Swings and pops it up. And it looks playable and foul ground. The catch made by Maggi. Two outs. Torqued and twisted away from the plate. 
And now he has to kick his leg at it as it rolls past the mound. Kelly gets to it, pops up, gets it to first, but not quite in time. My goodness, you can watch that play over and over again. Oh, and that one got him on the helmet. Oh, he keeps his feet, but he is headed straight towards the dugout, and you hate to see that. He comes home. Mazzanti drops down the bunt, and it's a beauty. Throw to first in time for the out. A successful sacrifice. Hugo soldiers on into the eighth inning, and his first pitch of the eighth inning hits Ben Wanger. Representing the go-ahead run. And I wonder if that'll be the last pitch that Lugo throws. Pitch for five different major league teams. He throws that one past Mineo, though, and on to third goes Wanger. Three and two. Ball four. He's 0 for three. He drops a bunt down the first baseline. Mazzanti bobbles it. And Israel takes a 3-2 lead. They test the first baseman as he comes into the game for the first time. And he gets a ground ball to short, sounded like a broken bat, but it's bobbled and there'll be no place to go with it. Ground ball off the pitcher's foot and into left field. One run and two will score as Israel opens up a 5-2 lead, the largest of the night. What a weird inning. Not get too far ahead of ourselves. And now the bases are loaded again as Paller gets hit. And Kelly lines it into right field and Israel's not done yet. A run comes in, and that'll be all for now. The team builds a 10-run lead or larger from the seventh inning on, that it's ball game over, and the lead's going to keep growing here. One run comes in, the throw to the plate cut off, the relay. Well, sliding under the tag there was Paller, and put two more on the board and open up the lead to six. Two pitch, Rosenbaum goes down swinging. Now the 0-2 pitch is cold, strike three on Cicchini. That was when the game was still tied at two. And another strikeout, Shelley called out on strikes into a second place tie with the loser of this game. A line drive to center field. A wave and a miss, and a strikeout on four pitches. Last inning, the man on third, he squeezed, snapping the tie, and now a seeing eye single into left field. That's Israel's sixth hit. Stop the bleeding. And now a high pop fly is back and winds up falling behind Alberto Mineo. The 2 2. And that's a line drive into left field, and now everybody, all nine starters for Israel, have reached base safely. Hits it high into the right field sky. Two away. He hits it a pretty long ways out to right center field. Pitch, a broken bat, grounder to third. As strike three is cold on Valio. And comes home. It's cold, strike three, and that's the ball game. 